Hi, I'm Jonathan Holmes, and I'm uh, a candidate for the youth pastor position. Uh, I'm from Springfield, Missouri. I went to Missouri State University, and I got my uh, management degree in business there. Uh, it's in Springfield, Missouri, so I was born and raised there. And then me and my wife, Amber, moved to Dallas, Texas, and we are currently there at Dallas Theological Seminary. Amber and I met when uh, we were in high school, so we're those high school sweethearts, one of the few that made it made it through. Uh, we dated for five years, and then uh, we, we got married a week after I graduated from Missouri State, and I told her, hey, in two months, we're off to Dallas. Um, and so now we're in Dallas, we are, we're still married and loving married, married life. Um, I love Amber, man, she, is, she exceeds my expectations um, as being my wife. I love her personality her charm, and I am so jealous on how easy it is for her to meet someone new. She can connect with someone someone new or someone that she's known for a long time and build a, build a strong relationship with them so quickly, uh, and that's what I love about Amber. Uh, I grew up in a, in a Christian home, and my, my parents were great. They showed me what it looked like to follow Christ at a really early age. Uh, so I'd wake up on Saturday mornings and I'd see my dad in the living room on his knees in prayer or reading scripture and that really affected me. You know, he took it so, he made it so important in our family to be surrounded by the word of God and in the word of God that I knew this was important to not only my family but me as me as well. And so when I was about eight years old, uh, I, I told my parents I wanted to be a Christian. I explained to them what the gospel was and then a, a few months later I was baptized by my, by my grandpa in, in his church. So my entrance into uh, student ministry was was a progression. So when I was a senior in high school, um, we got a new youth pastor, and every youth pastor dreams of this of this older student coming to them and saying, "I want to work for you for free." Uh, and so I went to him and I said, "Hey, I can shoot and edit videos, and I would love to do that for you for free." Um, and that started a relationship, and that that really uh, drove me into a mentorship. My first mentorship with. Uh, with my youth pastor and uh, he discipled me and that eventually led into an internship with him uh, and a paid position where I got to teach and I got my, my feet wet in ministry in my home church which, which was a beautiful picture of, of what the local church should look like and so I got my feet wet there and, and while in my time at Missouri State I had a lot of opportunities to work for other churches, do media, uh, media kind of followed me around uh, mixing sound and shooting videos and those kind of things. Um, and then in, whenever we moved to Dallas, it was my first time where I really had a, um, a pretty much full-time position at a church. And so I worked at Prestonwood Baptist Church in Plano, Texas uh, as, as a junior high ministry intern. And I got to teach a lot. I got to uh, see what it looked like to do large church ministry uh, in, a, in a junior high aspect, in a, in a youth ministry aspect. And so it was a great experience. I learned so much from that, from, uh, from that church and from the people that I worked with there. And... Uh, Currently, I'm the junior high minister at the Heights Baptist Church in Richardson, Texas, uh, and I'm loving it, man. We we get to we get to teach and train junior high students, uh, seventh and eighth grade, up in God's Word, and, and have discipleship relationships with them. Take them to camp, uh, do things like disciple now, and I'm really loving my position there because it's gotten a lot more teaching heavy and teaching the students and building relationships with them and discipleship relationships. So I'm loving my time there, and I've been there for about two and a half years. So after I told my student pastor that I would love to edit videos for him and we started having a mentorship relationship, uh, it, really, it really drove me to going, man, I have a passion for this. I enjoy doing this and, and I really feel called like this is what I should be doing for the rest of my life. This is where I should invest my life. And at the time I was going to Missouri State getting a business degree in administrative management. And so I just went to my youth pastor and I said, hey, does everyone enjoy working with students as much as I do? And he, he laughed, of course, and he said, no, that is, you, you obviously have a gifting in this. You obviously have a passion. I really think you should pursue seminary. And it was really through his mentorship and my dad's mentorship that I saw the value of getting a business degree before going to seminary. But more than anything, I saw my passion and my, my gifting to teach and disciple students of this generation. I'm, I'm most excited about Wildwood and, and why I feel uh, genuinely called to Wildwood is that I think the opportunity here is great. I think the opportunity with students is unbelievable that this is our dream job. This is where we would love to go because we're really looking for a place that we can set roots, that we can be here and we can invest our lives into the students uh, and just the relationships. This is the perfect size of a student ministry. Um, it seems like the community here at Wildwood is great. And one of the first things when we visited the services was we couldn't believe uh, how diverse of a community it was, but how welcoming it was to Amber and I. So just sitting in the seats, seeing seeing the community worship together, uh, we just think the opportunity and uh, and the the feel the of the relationships and community here are, are great.